Although this film runs only 63 minutes, it was considered a feature-length movie in 1923. Feature-length comedies, still a rare commodity at that time, so much so that Buster made sure that each of the three stories covered in this film could stand on their own and be booked as separate shorts if audiences didn't respond well to sitting as long as 63 minutes watching a movie, something they weren't accustomed to doing then. Charlie Chaplin at that point was still basically also making shorts. His one venture into a longer form being his poignant comedy drama, The Kid, in 1921, which ran all of 68 minutes. But this Keaton film did stay intact. No cutting in to three parts was necessary, and the public turned out to see it in droves. Up next, the premiere of part two of the 15-part documentary, The Story of Film, hosted by the man who made it, Mark Cousins. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, a celebrated 15-part documentary continues with The Story of Film, Chapter 2, The Triumph of American Film and the First of Its Rebels. Then Buster Keaton chugs along the board, The General, and Charlie Chaplin raises The Kid.